I'm Chef Frank, this is Proto Cooks. Welcome back to another episode of Pinch of Frank. Today we're making Irish coffee. Irish coffee, that great mid-afternoon or late evening pick-me-up. It has a little bit of coffee, it has some whiskey, it has some sugar. It's got a little bit of all those elements that are gonna give you a little lift. Either to like continue on with the day or continue on with the night. For my Irish coffee, this is what you're gonna need. A small pot of fresh brewed coffee. It could be light, it could be dark, whatever your preference with coffee is. I like a medium roast and that's what I'm using. Vanilla extract, some heavy whipping cream, some white sugar, some brown sugar, and some whiskey. Again, just like the coffee, you can use whatever whiskey you want. Before we make this Irish coffee, I wanna talk about my ingredients and a couple pieces of equipment. Uh, first is my percolator. I like percolated coffee. My wife found this at a garage sale. It's made by Farberware. It's probably from the 70s. Um, percolated coffee to me is just great. It's hot, it tastes fresh. Um, and that's what we use on a daily basis. If you don't have one, just use whatever you have. Not a big deal. Vanilla. Vanilla is not traditional in this, but I like vanilla in my whipped cream for this. Just a little bit of vanilla, just a hint. Uh, so that's what I like to do. These mugs found at a garage sale. You can tell my wife and I like garage sales and flea markets. Uh, these are made by Corningware. We think they're 60s or 70s. Um, these glass things are heat proof and they pop out to be washed. Um, and I think these are like the perfect size for an Irish coffee. If you don't have something like this, the classical Irish coffee mug is kind of a heavy glass mug that holds in the heat. Uh, you can also use a coffee mug if you want, right? Uh, I do sweeten my heavy cream with a little bit of white sugar and vanilla. I just like this to be a little on a sweeter side as far as drinks go. The brown sugar I'm using is kind of molasses-y. It has that molasses flavor that I think goes well with whiskey. Um, and last but not least, we're using a Patty's whiskey. This is an homage to my wife's grandfather, Grandpa Doyle. Um, he would basically have a little shot of this every night when he was in the nursing home. Uh, so you don't have to use Patty's, but I am using Patty's just because that's what Grandpa Doyle liked. Let's get started with uh, plugging in our coffee because this little coffee maker doesn't have a switch. You just basically plug it in and let it go. So my coffee's gonna brew and I'm gonna whip my cream while I make my coffee. So if you ever see me whip things uh, in order to do it solo uh, without the bowl jumping everywhere, I get a towel and I pull it from corner to corner and you make this little thing like you're gonna like rat tail someone, right? And we're gonna make a nest for our bowl. Our bowl sits in that nest. This way our um, bowl doesn't jump around, right? So I'm gonna have my heavy cream. Uh, I like to have my cream chilled if possible. My bowl chilled if possible. I'm gonna add my sugar. And I'm gonna add just a little splash of vanilla. I'm not really gonna measure it, just a splash. Right? I like that vanilla scent when I pick the coffee up and drink it, all right? And we whisk, right? Uh, the whole thing with whisking is this is stirring. We want to start to see bubbles, so you'll start to see if I use this motion, if I use this kind of whisking motion where I'm adding bubbles, if you stir, you're breaking the bubbles up, but if you kind of go over the top and like kind of whisk, make sure you get it everywhere, you'll start to get a lot of air and it'll basically beat really quick. We whisk. Now we whisk. This is going to take a few minutes. Your arm is gonna to wanna to fall off. You can do this in a machine if you want to. I'm just doing this because it makes good content. Right, and that's where I want it, right? And I like to do it this way because if you don't have a machine at home, you can easily whisk it. Heavy whipping cream whips really quick. Um, and if you're not even into whipping your own cream, clutch your pearls, get one of those uh, ready whip things, it'll work, right? Uh, it's only up, all up to like the amount of effort that you want to do. I'm gonna put this in the fridge, keep it cold while the coffee's brewing and we'll get everything else set up. Coffee is done, let's assemble this. First thing I'm gonna do is take about a tablespoon of brown sugar in each. This is totally customizable. You don't have to put in sugar if you don't want it. If you like your coffee black, that's fine, right? Top it with your coffee, about four to five ounces of hot coffee. Make it look pretty. Look at that. Excellent. 
All right, give it a stir. I have a bar spoon. I'm just gonna make sure my, my sugar is dissolved. All right. Save that spoon. Each glass gets an ounce and a half of whiskey. I like to put my whiskey in after the coffee. So that's about an ounce and just a little more. This is not for the faint of heart. You got coffee, you got whiskey, you got cream, you got sugar, right? Put that aside. Give it another little stir, right? And then we float our whipped cream on top, right? We don't wanna really mix the whipped cream in. We want it just to be like a topper of whipped cream. So that you're basically drinking the coffee through the cream. Awesome, look at that. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. All right, that's Irish coffee. Let's give it a taste. Now for my favorite part, time to taste. No, no, we're not doing that. All right, let's give it a taste. Um, I'm gonna give one to my camera person. Let's do a little cheers. Okay, here we go. Mm. That is something special. The coffee has a little bit of sweetness to it. You're basically drinking the coffee through the cream as the cream kind of mixes in. Get a little whiskey kick. Uh, that little vanilla on top. I think that's kind of like the little twist there that you need. Great little cocktail. Um, I would recommend it. This is definitely something you need to make. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. We have merch in the description down below. We also have a PO box down there. I wanna thank my Patreon patrons for supporting us. Thanks for the support. And that's my Irish coffee. I'm Chef Frank, this is Proto Cooks. Slancha. <laughs>